Okay, we'll start this uh, for Synthlord. Just a quick um, run through a couple of questions that uh, you've been asking. Um, Delu CPU performance. This is from, direct from the manual. It's the uh, official Delu's manual, page two six nine. Get this on the web. <coughs> um, so it doesn't enforce limits on how many tracks or voices sound at once. As you can read there. Um, you can have lots of things going on at once, which is what I'm going to have a play with now. So there it says uh, 64 light synth voices, up to 110 sounding at once with samples. So we'll have a look at it. The more effects, the more interesting variations you apply. Obviously that reduces the polyphony arpeggiation which we're going to have a look at as well i think and voice priority can be set which is brilliant because that means you can actually decide which notes or which voices are more important uh, so let's have a look at uh, using we'll start a new a, a new uh, song completely so this is a brand new song it's got one track, and that track, I look at pressing the pad there, that's that's that track, um, and that's a synth at the moment, standard synth zero. Yep, so we're just going to scroll through some of the synths, um, I'm going to go the reverse way, I've altered some and not others, this is the synth that I made um, for your sample, you know, the spoon sample. So we, we, we might use that at some point. Uh, so we've got various different noises here. Now, uh, with this, we can transpose up and down on this button for the note. So we've got a D there, and it tells you that that D2 there is obviously the note. So we're going to put that as a, um, a drone sound. Like this, uh, when you do front and back, uh, or, or beginning and end, it, it just continues to loop it round. If I press play now, that's the same sample, and we can alter the settings for that. So we can have that in the background. So we'll leave that going there. Now that um, is synth number 158. If I now want to copy that same drone to another track, press one of the pads, press here, and it puts it there. However, because it's using the same synth, it'll swap over. Yeah, so it won't play both the same synth at the same time. However, if I have that synth on one track with one set of settings, I can then transfer over to the next track and that then play those settings. And you can continue to do this, so you've you basically got the option, if you want it, of swapping synths or keeping the same one and altering the settings. Yeah, so 158 on there with that. Drop to 157, 158. So I'll put it back to the original synth, number 158. 
which will swap to that, which is synth number 158, which will swap to that, which is synth number 158. So you can do that. You can have settings for each individual synth per different tracks. And you can actually see the colours there. If I then make a new track and put a kit on it, um, so we'll just have that one going at the time being. Uh, dead simple. Change this this colour now. Sorry, <clears throat> is a group. So if I press here that group will light up. So I can start off, let me, uh, start off here, there, 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 there. So each group in turn, you can you can press like a, um, a scene, perhaps, I don't know what you call it. I can't remember what it's called in the manual. So that'll change to the settings, same synth, and this one will bring the synth and the drum beating at the same time. And you can either have it to do it in time like that or you can immediately bring it in. And the reason that stopped is because that's the only note that's playing there. So if I did um, this for example, go back to the song, so it's now that's going to play four notes still sound like the drone. Change to that one. If I now press this and it'll come on at the next note. So you can do it that way. Um, you've also got um, you can shorten down the length of these. And that's obviously then a setting you can have them yes, that gets fun but then if you think well I'd like to have two of them playing at the same time I like that sound but I want to just change it a little bit we can uh, save that synth and I'll save it as just dead simply there 158A So you can have that as a different synth now. So we'll change that one back to 158. Have that as 158A. So now the the standard the synth that it was. You can play at the same time. So you can still use that synth on multiple instances. Okay, so you can do that. Um, I don't want to get carried away here, but yeah, I'm just... anyway. So you can do that. Uh, another thing you can do, um, which is if I change the voice, we'll drop that down to. Uh... Mm. I think that's a nice sound that.
start looking at uh, other things you can do with these this weird device so you can record in real time if I get it timing right Zoom in and zoom out of the grid. So, so if you want to make differences to the timing like there, that's a bit out. So another instance there. This time. synths going at the moment you're asking about multiple synths all together so there are three at the moment and then we can do this sort of weird thing if we extend this pattern length white lights that are progressing across the screen they're like <laughs> different rates now because you've got a different length of loop going on if I want to bring this down here so I can see it together I can press it and hold and now I've got them all together so that those ones that are muted at the top if I alter those colors to be the same So, so you've got different lengths of uh, sequences playing at the same time rolling over um, and then we can look at um, the variances perhaps uh, see there's all sorts of variances if I just play oh <laughs> I'm still recording I wonder what that'll sound like can alter how often these notes play I'll just zoom in a bit so I can see them so I'll press the note and hold and here you'll see a number change that's 100% so that'll play all the time this one 75% of the time turn it the other way and that'll play once every three times that'll be the second one to play and that'll be the third one Each note you can alter if I then take uh, on each of those, you can alter per note. So 
what's going on. So you've got variances there. I've not yet learned to use the uh, low frequency oscillators, but I know that uh, an interesting thing to do with the ARP, if I turn it on, because I've got it on um, varying the time when they play, the ARP will play only when the notes play, obviously. And we can go up, down. And then if we begin to... variance to those notes to, to that we're playing like the chords just zooming in slightly here and looking at the length of the notes which you can alter to wherever you want this is the bar by the, there at the top so track so far isn't it make a new one put the keyboard on down on this and turn I can take it down a, an octave and then take it up again up again and I can press shift press down and turn up and down in octaves uh, and then sorry I'm just thinking of what to go with it next so then we've got the effects we can add on to the track um, we've got reverb we've got the delay So we can 
leave that flandry going. That's using voice three. different rates there. entire song with the filter so you've got individual tracks and the whole song you can affect with the effect entire there on the song view stutter but you can stutter as well stutter rate the the colours here. That's not got anything assigned to it, which is why it's not working on that. Because I haven't assigned anything to it. Uh, go to all to the individual clip which will be that one this is the drum kit and again you can affect individual yeah anyway uh, you can affect the individual the individual so to listen to that I'll take off
That's a bit too much all the time, so one of two, two of two. And it's a bit clangy, so let's just drop that down a bit. Let's try put it to high pass filter. Got a bit of bit crusher on there now. So we could even reverse it, make it a bit softer. Back and go back to the bass drum here. A decent pair of headphones, you've got to feel that. I can. <laughs> Good saturation, turn that on, make it really go horrible. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Uh, and if you want to save that, you can uh, save either the synth or the song. So if I press that, save it. This ASCII keyboard comes up. Um, uh, and I'll call that odd. <laughs> uh, then you can load up another one. Um, new one. Um, what's that one? Right, okay, so let's have a... I don't, oh, yes, this was one of my ongoing experiments into body rhythms. So each of these tracks is one step shorter than the other. And then we've got uh, this track as well, which is just like a basic uh, percussion drum type thing. So if I press play now, just those will work. All these won't at the moment. Um... And let's have a see what that sounds like. Okay, you can see they're all at different rates, doing weird sort of things. some weird noises in it. Uh, right, so, so enough, 
I do this one. So basically, that's zoomed right out. Um, you can see the white dot going across. That's the only track that's playing at the moment. And these are the same length. That was one short, that was one shorter, and that was longer. So you get um, a change in the length of the, of the track thing going. Started the same length now. And that's just an experiment I did into different sort of sounds because I like sounds. Um, with another track at the bottom. And these are just kits, so that's like um, just samples loaded in to each of the positions for the, the drum kit. There's lots of different kits that you can have a play with. That's great because you, you can play and just immediately switch kits. So you've got whatever's going on here, badly. Yeah, and then change the kit and then get the different sounds. to that. Um, now what else did we want to look at? We wanted to look at, I think, uh, synth being played like a piano and what modulations and things you can add to it. That's the challenge I've got. That's going to be for the next video because I've got to learn about how to modulate these different um, parameters. Um, and once I've done that I'll, I'll have a, a chance at sort of exploring that and, and showing you something there. This is just uh, another explore that I did. just another example <laughs> um, what else have I got that I've done uh, but
Thank you. Uh, yeah, you did also ask, uh, it says just remembering uh, about, uh, let's do a new one, uh, shift new. Right, so brand new. Right, so I'll put it on this kit. Uh, what about multiple playing of the notes at the same time? So each one of these is the same note going up. So if I just pressed. That's 10. Um, get it playing an arpeggiator. Right, okay. Um, and again, I said before, you can take the scale off, you don't need that, you can. Uh, yeah, so, uh, the, what did I do? Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, um, let's get something going. Uh, So that's doing that. Take that off. That was a bad idea. Uh, there we go. Right, so I've got that there. Maybe that should go over here somewhere. Maybe that should go over there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Maybe I should change the length of this right down. Slide it down. Lower, 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 lower. So that's three bars long. Slightly off with timings. Take that one off. Um, gosh, that sounds really rubbish. Sorry about that. Um, let's try again. Uh, Let's try there. Turn that off. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Switch the bomb. 
altı buradan tıram. I don't know if that last bit was any use at all. That's the last 10 minutes have <laughs> just been... I don't know, but that, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Um, I suppose... Um, which one? These are earlier tries I've had at doing stuff. Um, let's give this one a go. Okay. 
anyway so, hope you enjoyed it bye